Solo Sokoa set for competition here. Clearly focused as ever. Focused and with a target acquired, Cole. Sokoa's never not in a bad mood. We can already see it. He came ready for a beatdown. Strangely, I think beating down his competition is the only thing that eventually puts him in a good mood. And even that's debatable. Just look into his eyes right now. Yeah, but anybody that is riding off Elias could find himself sorely mistaken. Don't let his melodies fool you. Elias is one sinister songsmith who believes himself to be the truth teller. And he's coming in tonight motivated by all the disrespect he's been feeling from the WWE Universe. Everything about Elias is painful, from his music to his attacks in the ring, but don't disrespect the man's capabilities. Elias is fully capable of making sure that his tune will be the last one you'll hear. One step ahead of Elias there. Kick to the stomach. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Into the ring again. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oof, running knee in the corner. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. Oh, stuck between the corner and a splash. And Elias there got some pain directed right to him. Sokoa clearly taking out his preternaturally bad mood on the competition. Solo Sokoa has proven himself to be a ruthless powerhouse, Corey. How do you measure up to this kind of physical opponent? Well, Cole, you have to refuse to give Solo the outright brawl he wants. Get crafty with your attacks and stay elusive. Solo wants to trap you in the middle of the ring to go blow for blow with him, so you have to give him the runaround. Hits him with the kill. Shot after shot, works ruthless striking. Hoist it up. In the foot to the back of the head, and then a stop. Can he do it here? He narrowly avoids the count. Not yet. What a shot. Continuing to work on the arm with a vicious knee drop. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, man, leg 
drop arm breaker. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Solo is stifling the opposition now. Uh-oh. What reflexes to stop Sokoa? A little rope assistance. Very effective. Elias climbs. What's on his mind? From the top rope. Good lord. Taking flight. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Two amigos! I don't think Sokoa is aware of the danger that's coming. Now Sokoa holding him at bay. Shaky 
shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Oh! We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point. From the top, through the air, and connects. Taken out from high above. You got to be some special kind of crazy to do that. That's yours in your head. Momentum is running away from Elias. Yeah, Elias has to find an opening and respond. And now gets tossed into the ring. Yeah. Oh, God. Elias is being carefully measured now. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top, Solo Splash by Solo Sokoa. These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. Ah, trampling the opposition. Oh my goodness, and that was offense with a hurtful purpose. This is your time to shine. What a clothesline! Ouch! Zakoa keeping his opponent at bay. Zakoa hits the spinning solo. Zakoa might have just finished things. That's it. Solo Zakoa gets the win. Unquestionably a big win here tonight. Oh, no one's going to be walking with Elias tonight, I can tell you that much. Ready to rock and ready to fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Shinsuke Nakamura from Madison, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boone. Oh, he's more than a magician. Right, guys? <laughs> Rick Boog's intensity level goes to 11. And it's stuck there. Trust me, Boog's does not have an off switch. That's actually a good thing. Now, Rick Boog's has plenty of amateur wrestling accolades. A college wrestling standout. You would be mistaken to underestimate Rick Boog's inside the ring. An absolute powerhouse. And he's one of the best weightlifters in WWE. And tonight, Rick Boogs looks to melt his opponent's face off. The Judgment Day is here. And the WWE Universe will feel their wrath. 
and his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Well, the frightening thing about the Judgment Day is that their main goal seems to be spreading fear throughout WWE. Make no mistake, the Judgment Day are all about wins and championships, but the psychological warfare they wage will keep this group atop WWE. The Prince, the Eradicator, and the Punishment. The Judgment Day has arrived and the WWE Universe is not prepared for their wrath. Well, I sure hope their opponents are. What an absolute physical specimen Rick Boogs is, guys. No kidding, Michael. He's more muscle than man. I'm sure we're going to see Boogs use each and every muscle he has in this battle. But across the way, we have Damian Priest, an intimidating superstar with an imposing physique and a ruthless approach to competition. Priest holds nothing back when it comes to his attacks, and the results can be truly devastating. Well, that willingness to do what it takes to serve Priest well his ability to punish opponents is enough to make them regret ever getting in the ring with him in the first place. Punishing stretch. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Oh, the reversal by Priest. Firm control. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh my God. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Quick sidestep by Boogs. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Oh man, what a kick. Going way up high. From the top. Spot. Boogs has run into a roadblock. showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Boog showing his resiliency. Punch right in the head. Average plan here can't be good. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Just breaking down the opponent. Off the pin at two. Obvious 
Moxley still has some fight left. Look at this outrageous power by Rick Boogs. Military press. And this is going to be it. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Blast off. take things into the ring. Whew, that was close. Such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He's to figure out the quickest way to end this. A stiff shot that creates separation. Maybe get something else going. Strong takedown. Completely 
shifted to Priest. Gotta expect Priest called control to continue. And down. And he's able to fight. Shoulders down. No kick out at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. This is impressive. This is crazy strength. Bad landing. He manages to escape it. He's been placed in the corner now. So they are coming off the rope. Going back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Evading offense. Hard landing. The very domineering Ridge Holland will start this one off, and he might end it quickly, too. Not many superstars are made of Yorkshire steel like Ridge Holland. This guy was around for about five seconds before he got recruited to SmackDown, and with power and aggression like that, I'd say it was five seconds too long. Five seconds might be the length of this match if Holland has his way. Too bad he's in there with the aptly named ring general, Gunther. This man has chopped layers of skin off some of the toughest competitors in the world. There are few superstars who are as merciless as Gunther. You look at that man, and there is nothing behind the eyes. He has that kind of aura, that, that presence, that can end a match before it even begins. Tough position to be caught in here. Can't prepare your face for that. Kick after kick after kick. How humiliating. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. <laughs> Lighten up the chest. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. <laughs> Corey, it has to be hard to face off against such a chaotic opponent like Ridge Holland. Right, you're definitely not walking away without a few bumps and bruises, Cole, but what makes Ridge so chaotic is that explosive temper of his. If you can frustrate Holland, it's only a matter of time before he loses his cool and explodes. And a carefully measured knee drop. Counter on Guther pays off. Oh, short arm chop. Way to hang on. The ref still counting, might be a count out. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He beats the count, and this one continues. From the top. Oh, misses the mark. Paying it right back with a reversal. And like since then, they just tossed their opponent. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. He is just reeling from that offense. Gunther with steel. Incredibly important moment right there. Man able to get to the ropes. He 
can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. Gut wrench suplex. Gunther now from the hard rear naked show. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. To find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Dominating shoulder tackle. Forearm after forearm after forearm. Oh my goodness. Just strike it at will. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. He takes control. Look out. Exploder suplex. Top rope. Here we go. Watch out. All the way to the outside. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Up and over. And Gunther now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Gunther has to create an opportunity to retaliate. Suplex. Headbutt to the back of the neck. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Eight. He'll head to the ring. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. <laughs> Canadian backbreaker submission. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of... Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. He catches Guther with a big counter. Scoop slam from behind. Inverted scoop slam. A consistent attack here from Holland. Ridge continues to maintain the advantage. Drawing dangerously close to a count out here. He returns to the ring. Great wherewithal to beat the count. Being carried around with ease. Demonstration of power. What are they doing here? <laughs> Gunther wants to finish this. Delivering a power bomb. I'm not liking Ricky's odds here. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? Ridge Holland with the ever explosion. Big opening for Holland to take this. What a kick out. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the foot. Oh, saw it the power with the Ridge press. Ridge feeding him some Yorkshire steel, and he doesn't like the taste. This is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Whoa! Just muscling up their opponent into the gut wrench. Holland's legs are teetering. He might have nothing left. The ring general delivering a power bomb. Gunther can taste victory now. You've got to feel pretty good about yourself. No one was willing to give even a single inch of ground in this battle. At times, it seemed like these competitors were totally deadlocked, but here you see the one who prevailed.
And here's Tyler Bate, a man who has been making history since his first day in WWE. The first ever United Kingdom champion. Bate's not the biggest guy, and he's not the most experienced, but he is pure talent, bringing an unorthodox twist to the Bate Strong style of competition. Bate is a grinder, a brawler, and frankly, a heck of a lot of fun to watch. And standing across the ring is one of the toughest superstars in WWE, Ilya Dragunov. If you haven't heard Dragunov's name before, you are about to learn today. He is a cruiserweight with the strength of a power striker, the heart of 10 men, and a terrifying intensity that is completely unmatched. Ilya Dragunov has such an incredible fighting spirit. Is that enough to bring him the victory? Absolutely, Cole. Dragunov leaves everything he has in the ring. And if he brings that intensity and ferociousness to bear, there aren't many superstars he can't find a way to defeat. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. And breaks out of the sleeper. Size disadvantage coming into play there as Dragunov is put on the defensive. Yeah, Bates just having a good time grinding him down. Knew what was coming there. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. Yeah. Oof! Answer that with a stiff knee. Back in the ring now. He is delivering <laughs> elbow after elbow. Yeah. Suplex. Well placed kick. And Dragunov stuck and looking for a solution. Dragunov fires back. Excellent opportunity for Ilya to shift the momentum. Ilya could be turning his fortunes around. And the mad Russian getting shut down with that move. And Hagen tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might have been about picking up the pace a bit. as long and as far as he needs to. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Reversal! Can he take advantage? A stalemate of counters. Oh! Oh, dropping down all their weight. That was just malicious. Insulting. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, my goodness. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left.
He steps foot in the ring again. Taking it outside the ring now. Uh-oh. Must have forgotten what kind of match was going on for a moment. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. of everyone in the WWE Universe. I think they've noticed, Byron. Every single fatal four-way match has its own flavor, Corey, and that means you have to adopt whatever strategy is going to help you in that particular match. I've seen some fatal four-ways when it's best to join forces against an especially intimidating But even so, Corey, that doesn't always guarantee the biggest threat becoming a non-factor. But my point is, even if it doesn't work, sometimes you have to join forces with an opponent to even have a chance at victory. We'll see if that's the case as this fatal four-way unfolds. Into the corner. This can't be good. Driven into this barricade. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. This is not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Holy meet the barricade. Insulting. Cover here. enough at this stage, but every time you cover your opponent, you make them kick out. Every kick out exerts energy. Neck breaker. Shoulders down to the count. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. Boom! Oh, what a roundhouse kick. He's getting a little better now. Yeah, but I think he's got a lot left in the tank, Cole, which he's going to need to maintain if he wants to come out on top against these three other men. Oh, 
champ off his game. This match certainly has taken its toll. Keep it up with three other superstars who will wear you down. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Ooh. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Oh! Uh oh! Ooh. Eats a punch to the face. Oh. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Neckbreaker. Going right. To the neck. Neckbreaker. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you gotta expect to be a little worse for wear. The stomp in every single part of his body. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Trapping their opponent's arm. What a shot! Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. Ah, oh, this should have been over but he breaks the hold. He avoids the damage. Bicycle knee to the face. German Supreme. Oh, we got a cover. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Pins 
just broken up. Counter! And now there's an opening. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Should have been over, but he breaks the hold. Oh my God! What an aggressive side slam. He saw that one coming. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. And he sends him into the corner. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Trap the arm. from him to just keep battling. Yeah, he's at a point in the match where he wants to remain relentless. Outside the ring. Will this be enough? from the sleeper. Needs to break this submission. Here comes Champa. Uh-oh. Champa gets countered there and planted them with a well-executed DDT. Up in the torture rock. This is excruciating. Secure the victory. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding? He thinks he has it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. What a lethal combination there. Oh! Oh! Can't do that. They just did. 
kidding me? Getting back into the ring. And that was some brutal impact on that DDT. Get him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. no. Suplex. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Waiting for his opponent to get back to his feet. And he's looking to throw out all of the cards. Just a blazing challenge. Trying to provoke an incredibly rash reaction. Shutting that down with a back elbow. And he goes into the ring. Champa wants to end this. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. From behind. The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are full. This one has to be over.
in the books. I think any of those four superstars could have taken it.